Hi everybody, it's James, and welcome back to the Swifts. Oh, I'm on the page here. We had some transfers, and we've played a game since we've all been around. If you noticed, top of the league. Oh, we get to check a thing today, too. That's awesome. Uh, let's talk schedule. We played Motherwell and beat them 6-0 with a rotated side. Like you do. Like, like you do with the Swifts. We just... Apparently, so far, beginning of this year, scoring goals is not the problem for our squad. Yeah. Um, since we're actually in the competitions now and it started, can I see detail? Still lowest salary. A lot more. I mean, half a million pounds, guys. But still like a million less than the second, than the play team in 11th. Champions League team here, folks. Ch Champions League team. Possibly. Definitely Europa League team. Um, <laughs> early uh, early uh, clubhouse thing. <laughs> Farrell with three goals. Average ratings up the wazoo. And we've made some transfers. There have been some ins and outs. Um, we're going to talk about some of the outs first. Um, Alvaro... Remember Alvaro? Yeah, he went to Falkirk for a hundred thousand pounds, going up to one hundred twenty-five thousand. Thought it was good business. We had three good goalkeepers. I didn't need. We had four good goalkeepers. I didn't need four. Barely need three. I've got Webb, Shemek, and Suarez. So I sold them. Made some money. Uh, Warna, who, if you don't remember, is the Polish center back we picked up, is uh, currently on loan. Just to get some experience. I think he could develop into something interesting. I just need him to like play games. Leandre Ahmed. Ah, oh, the story of Leandre. Guy we brought in should show much promise, did so much for us. And then like just never really like took that next step. And I think once again it was because like though naturally fit in a strong player, just wasn't technically gifted and also didn't have the pace we were looking for out of a wing the wing back, but mentally strong. But now a guy who we were able to get one million pounds for and uh, reinvest that money because we have obviously um, Westberg and Malloy that we can deploy on the left hand side. For 2.5 million pounds, we got Gadiosi who we picked up for a free. Now, this one hurts a little bit more, but the money was too good to give up. And he's a squad player. And you know what? He hadn't played yet. Santos had taken over that position from him. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I got to really cash in. Squad bloat was becoming a thing. But you'll see here, I've reinvested, I think, pretty well. And finally, David Zabala went to Angers for um, $3 million. They were looking at him. I wasn't going to say no. I thought it was like, hey, yeah, no, that kind of money, and I could bring in another striker, maybe a little bit cheaper. We'll go from there. Hell yeah, I'll take that. And, you know... It was kind of the time to do it. <coughs> he said we needed to bring in money. We've brought in 10 million pounds. We spent a total of 2.5. So it's not like I've sat on it. You guys saw Kevin Percival last. Uh, this is Chris Waters. We brought him in from Belgium. He is a midfielder who I think can start to work his way into being in the advanced playmaker position. Now we've got Frederick who is great and we want to keep him. But like, once again, thinking of the future, this guy's young. He's got high technique, a lot of good physicals, a lot of good technicals. He doesn't have quite the passing yet, but he's got the vision, the teamwork and the work rate flair decisions. Determination is pretty good. And in the, some nice physicals for being so young and the dribblings there. This is the guy who I, I've been talking about. I want that midfielder that can progress the ball forward through the midfield. I know I used it before, but like prime, like three to four years ago, Deli Alley, kind of that guy from midfield. You know, he's a, a number 10 that has dropped back and like a, be play at the deeper position. This is him. I like everything about him. Plus, he's got a reasonable left foot and a very strong right foot. So he can kind of do one or the other. Um, he'll see, I think he'll see some sporadic amount of game time this year, but I'm excited to kind of get him into this, into the squad. Next, this is Tony Borgen, who is a Scottish 
16 year old right back slash left back that we brought in from Liverpool. This is the guy to be was replacing Gadiosi, basically. We went for and you know went from that to an Englishman to a Scotsman and a guy who I think look like he could do the business. Not, I mean, if you'll compare him to Santos, right? Because Santos is the bar is this is the standard right now. God, we got a lot of players. You know, Santos being the standard, this guy is a little bit better at defending than Santos is. Wing back on support. How would we play? So, cross wise first touch marking. Passing, tackling, technique. So Santos, mentally, this guy's a little bit better. He's got a better work rate, teamwork, positioning, decision, determination, bravery, acceleration. I mean, Santos is quicker. But, you know, Santos is three years older than he is. So this is... um. I just tell him I want him to go on a leadership course because I don't. Hopefully they'll just say no. Um. He's very. I think he's very good. He's got that kind of dual wing backness that I like. He can kind of play either side. He's for the future. He doesn't have any youth caps, but I think he's somebody we can really kind of develop and grow. And he was, you know, just a youth and a youth player from Liverpool. So we we're able to pull that through here. And then Jordan McDonald, who is a Scottish player, who a Scottish Danish player who is playing for the FC FC Mingeland. And this guy is kind of the, kind of like the the next striker through the door. You look at him; he's got a lot to like about him too. Six foot four with some pretty good physicals. He's got the holy trinity: dribbling, finishing, first touch, with some free kick taking, some heading, some technique. Work rate is a little bit low, but we can work with that teamwork, off the ball flair. We are training him to be a complete forward on attack. Because he's already got a lot of the necessary skills. And I think with a guy of this height, you see how often we head the ball down and we move the ball around. This is somebody who we can definitely use that with. I like him. But once again, this is reinvesting. We're selling kind of the players that we had to reinvest with younger players that we look to push the squad forward with. Because as I've said, I may not be winning. the. I'm probably not winning the Champions League with the players we have. I am looking to win the Champions League, probably with the players we're looking at buying now. So in a couple of years with some development, get around 1920, I think Jordan can definitely start breaking in and start being a force. I may even play him in some cup games this year just to give him some experience, but I'm happy with this one. And then this, this one I think is a steal. For 500,000 pounds, everybody meet Mario Gimpero. We got him from the third lead tier of Italy as a third choice midfielder. I was a defensive midfielder, but also a guy who can kind of play a box to box. And you just look at those stats. How could you not take this guy for 500,000 pounds? Look at the physicals all in the yellows jumping reaches high six foot. You know, he's got some natural fitness. He's got some pace, strength, stamina, acceleration, agility, mentals, high bravery, concentration, determination is a little low, but flair, leadership, positioning, teamwork. But this is teamwork, vision, work rate. He's going to work hard for the team and do what we ask him to, and he's brave about it. And then the technicals, he's tackling, technique, passing, marking, first touch. Like, you know, he's going to get the ball holding. He plays one twos. This is like the third choice DM because between, you know, <laughs> We have Dragon, we've got Montano, and then we really didn't have anybody else. And I was like, hmm, this could be a problem. Solved the problem. Solved the problem in a big way, too. I, <clears throat> and he is only, he's 21. And once again, he's not a guy that I'm going to be looked to be like, he needs to get in there and do a job. But he can, you know, he needs to do the job day in, day out. Though I'm pretty sure he could. I like the fact that he's there. He's solid. He could play the multiple positions. I could even throw him at center back if I had to. Like, if I needed to, like, really, like, play this guy as a, as a center back, he could definitely do the job. So, that's all the transfers so far. We still have some money left at the bank. Still have $2.1 And we still have wage budget. And we still have a lot of players who are... 
who, you know, Murphy has lost his interest. Farrell has some interest by Napoli and Sassuolo. <clears throat> I'm not letting Farrell go for anything. Semek is, is, has Milan has interest in him. If I can get a couple million for Semek, I will. Ruiz also has some interest in him. If I can get a couple million for Louis, Ruiz, I will. Um, we've got some center back options. Plus, I'm looking at a couple as well that we can bring in. So there we are. As for today's game, and it is today's game, I'm only going to give you one because if you looked at the last couple episodes, there have been a lot. So sorry about that, but I want to keep these episodes down below like 20 minutes or like around the 20 to 25 minute mark because it takes a lot to do a 45 minute episode. But for today's game, which is the Zenit match, the second leg, it is Dragon, Murphy, Frederick, Westberg, Lau, Gomez, Santos, Suarez, Farrell, Young, and Botafico with Malloy, Ruiz, Montano, Almeg, uh, Skinner, and Suarez all on the bench. Um, I like the fact that we can actually start rotating Skinner in. Uh, he is our kind of, he's the academy product right now. He's the guy who we've, we've talked about. He's made, he's made glimpses and places and now we're actually going to start to use him in the team the academy product because that's like the next step right is if we make it into the group stage that's a ton of money and if we can stay in the group stage i mean if we can do anything in there that's great if not we can make it down to the europa league that's a ton of money the board is expanding the the stadium right now i may ask him just straight to build a new one because we, we we're, we're gonna get hit with some money this year that much is for damn sure uh squad pretty much picks itself you guys have seen this a lot Farrell, by the way has 11 goals and seven assists in all competitions so far this year that's insane he's already in double digits go out there yeah i have faith the chairman has the best interest gloves he's the natural choice of westberg here we are again in edinburgh I love the fact that we're playing in the rugby stadium, too. It just makes my freaking day that we're here. Christian Eric, I can't believe they've got Christian Erickson. It's just great. Obviously, very... <laughs> I like how they have people on the upper deck. Like, guys, there's there's enough room. You let, them, let them come down. Let them come down to Murray Field. I wonder why we couldn't get... Sw I mean, I know why we couldn't get switched to Murray Field on a regular basis. Probably because they play rugby on the weekends. As Santos finds Murphy, a beautiful lift, lofted ball in there. Doesn't go anywhere, but Frederick will pick it up. Finds Westberg to Frederick. Farrell to Westberg. Low cross in. Cleared. Jarao finds Seleke. Dragon's there to clean up the mess. Farrell, ooh, heavy touch by him. Now look at him. Farrell running back on defense. Young getting involved here, too. Oh, Young, he's got the pace. Celeste Young brings, <laughs> comes in, scores his, what is it? it probably, I don't know, like his 20th goal. Of the, I know, it's, it's like his eighth goal of the season. And a beautiful move. Santos, by the way, that's his fifth assist in all competitions too. I don't remember when we've seen that many assists from our, from our wingbacks. The fact that they're getting involved in the play more. This team could be very dangerous this year. Um, very, very, very dangerous. Uh, games to watch out for right now here, too, as that is a horrible clearance. And Young uh, is right there. Um, games to watch here is the Standard Liège uh, FC Kravhoven game. Now, Krav FC Kravhoven... Kovhoven, Kovhoven, one there for one one nil, so that's something to do. By the way, since we're here, at development training, discuss. I can't do it. Hey, you mean like turn to the assistant on the bench? Hey, can we talk about adding a trait for young? And there's like, fucking really, dude? Did you? I'm like, well, no, no, no. I get it. The match, the match is going on right now, but they it looks like they've got this in hand. Santos. That's not the best pass from him. Let's see how Erickson, Berrios, Fedel. Beautiful ball. That is a nice slide roll pass there. 
Ganago gets his third goal of the season. That was a beautiful move by them. I mean, am I upset that we got broken down like that? Yes. But still, it's a great move. Dangerous ball in. Defense didn't close in on it. I figured, you know, Gomez should have attacked the ball and not the not the player. But, uh, you know, difficult decision to make there. That's so what you get, you get for playing two guys. Bonfigo, oh, wow. We haven't had it for, I didn't realize we haven't had a direct feed kick in a long time that we've scored. So that's something else I have to go, man, we have eight shots, five on target. It just blows me away some of the stats that this team develops because, you know, we're pretty much playing the same system they are. Defensive midfielder, ball winning midfielder, central mid, and then attacking mid, but we play it as two strikers. And they have a, they have the, oh, the traditional deep line forward, attacking, advance forward. They're playing at a lower tempo. Uh, happy with the way things are going, lads. Keep it up. Dragon's looking a little tired. He has come back from injury. So I don't want to push him too hard. Um, obviously, because we want to make sure he's around and healthy. Uh, as they're knocking the ball around here, Santos does get up it, get to it. Farrell is going to collect this. And now he's going to turn and burn. The fact that he's developed his pace up to 16 is absolutely insane. Farrell. Murphy's there. Offside. How? I want to see the line. Oh. It hit Young and deflected off of him because he was in an offside position. That's why it was called offside. Bonfigo, Young, ball over. We're throwing balls at these guys in dangerous areas, like all over the damn place. And it is getting kind of scary. Murphy sticks a foot in. Erickson, ah, Dragon does have an injury here. Well, we'll look at making the change after this move happens. Actually, while this move is happening, substitute off. Martin Moreno will come on in. Erickson, great to see him still doing a job. Bonfigo finds Farrell. Farrell's going to take this himself. I almost was a little bit upset that he, he's thinking he should pull that back to Young. But once again, it's it's Farrell. That's right, ESPN. Thank you for letting us know that we uh, that we uh, have scored a goal. <laughs> and yes, that's actually probably more towards the fact that there's other things going on. Yes, I would like to keep the tactical changes in there. Dragon is injured. Montano isn't. Yes, but Farrell, when Farrell scores goals like that for fun and like with such quality, there's a reason why we need to keep him around. And I'm willing to, I'm probably going to have to renew his contract. Him and Murphy are probably going to get contract renewals this year just to stave off more interest. Though, I mean, if we can get. Almung or any of those other guys working. I'm willing to. Oh boy, that was crazy. That's what happens when you get lackadaisical there, Westberg. Bonfigo pull, tries to pull back. Young, look at the work rate on Young. Bonfigo, Murphy, Montano finds Frederick. Westberg is going to take a shot. Chris Westberg, ladies and gentlemen, when you've got a wing back with over 10 finishing. It's good to also get a goal of yourself outside the box. Bonfigo, Murphy, Montaigne. Just look at this beautiful move. Frederick, Farrell, who just dummies it off to uh, to Westberg just by planting the heel down. I mean, it's not really a dummy. It's more like just like a give and go with a back heel. And let's get some let's get some more rotation here. Frederick is having a great game, but Almug can come on. And uh, Bonifigo's had a good game, but I think it'd be nice to get Kyle Skinner on. Let him get some more experience as well. The rising star. I mean, he's not really going to be. I mean, rising star. He's like one year younger than Farrell. And obviously Farrell's a little bit I mean, a little bit more prolific. But he's one of our own. And we definitely want to make sure we can kind of get him more in the mix this year. And we're going to have to. 
the Swifts, we give up long goals. Where the hell is this thing fired from? I mean, sheesh. I don't blame Suarez for not getting there. Because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mitrovic, is that... They would have Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Why aren't they starting him? I mean, he's a, I mean, I don't know why. I don't know how he is compared to the other striker. If they work better as an advanced forward, deep lane forward, kind of a situation. Um, we're going to win on the night. Win overall. 9,000 attendance, too. That's a, that's a pretty good attendance for us. I'm happy the way it is. We won 3-2 against Zenit St. Peter's, which I, I still could believe. Uh, it's a great start. There's not a lot you can say. All right, important. So we're playing the Danish side from the Danish Super League. FC Colvin. Cleva Colvin. I would be just a name. Where are they expected to finish this year? They are expected to win. They're expected to be the champions. <clears throat> and it looks like they have... A lot of good ones. Oh, this is the best keeper, interestingly. We don't need another keeper. Wait, did he play for... Oh, Reindeers. So, oh, good, thank God. Our reserves win the SPL trophy round. We win the Chips League path. Dragons injured for one to two days. Champion Cup match. We're going to get 9,000. We're getting television money. Murrayfield Stadium. So this is the playoff. This is where they wanted us to get to. Westberg was great. I absolutely wholehearted agree with you. I mean, the guy has 10 finishing. And just, shh, just rocketed that thing in there. So, football club, Co Copenhagen. All right, let's, 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 let's figure this out. I will say this mostly incorrectly, but at least mostly incorrectly while being told the person a pronunciation. Kutlehaven. 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 It's from Copenhagen. It's just FC Copenhagen. And Copenhagen. But there we go. They're next. So when does that come in <laughs> to destroy our schedule? Uh, of course it would be really close. Like... I'll give you guys the first five games of the season last year. I'm giving you like the first 20 games of this season. I mean, look at this. We've played one, two, three, four, five, six, six games so far this year. A team like Hearts, who was just promoted. I mean, they have played the Bedford Cup. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So they've played about the same. But it's just absolutely insane. We have to go through. We have to play Hearts next in said Bedford Cup. And I, I dare say I don't want to um I don't want to knock Hearts. But I may have to rotate a squad against them. What did they what are we expected semifinal, semifinal playoff? And so we're at we're at the expectation. We have to qualify. Top three, reach the playoff, which we have. Reach the semifinal which we're not even in yet. When do we come in the fourth round? Is that the round right before? No. So I've got a, basically two wins there. So I only have to have two wins in that. And the Bedford Cup semifinal is what? We get in the second round quarterfinal, so we have to win two games. Uh, 
God Almighty. You get, how much money do you get for winning the Scottish Cup? Seventy three thousand, but it's like the third most prestigious cup behind the FA. How much do you get for winning the FA Cup? It's that Premier League money right there. Wow, what a day! What what an I mean, it's just crazy. So. Next time, Hearts and then FC Copenhagen. So we, we're playing one, is it three? We're playing three games in seven days. This is insane. Welcome to why I need to buy. I needed to buy more players and make rotation happen. So tomorrow, Hearts, FC Copenhagen, and more transfers if I have time to do them, which I don't know if I will because. You know, we're playing seven games in three days. You know, seven games in three days. Impossibility. Not really. You can see all of our reserves. But anyways, until then, I've been James. You've been you. And this has been The Swifts. And it's not how good you are. It's how good you want to be. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>